what we're doing uh, today is uh, fixing uh, our cord that goes on our scale. So we plug into the tractor the a two prong pin deal that uh, gives us power to our scale, so we can so we can uh, know how much we're feeding. So I'm. Uh, I thought we'd do a little something a little different, uh, and let you actually see some stuff going on. So, uh, hopefully, this turns out. And no, my table is not this tall. It's <coughs> just uh, so everybody can see. So, basically, this is just a two prong plug from famous John Deere. Uh, the old one. Uh, basically corroded and uh, rotted away so but they're old old one uh, so it's got nut uh, I'm not sure which way these technically go on so I guess we'll put the little washer and then the rubber thing on and then this is what slides on to them all that goes that so it should these are soldered on I am by no means an expert solder this is like the second thing I've ever soldered in my life um, this fine of stuff I've done some copper pipe uh, plumbing stuff but this is a little different That's uh, you put the uh, little thingies in there, and then you supposedly heat that up. So we have a, I guess, a solder gun. Um, not exactly sure how it's supposed to work, but uh, then just some. Uh, Some lead free electrical something something solder. That's probably about fifty years old. So we're gonna heat heat our little thingy up and then and I guess fill that little hole in with the solder. Dad was going to do this the other day. Uh, their plug broke, so we had it kind of hot wired to the tractor. this is certainly a better connection than those screw on ones and it covers everything up but we can't 
exactly see what's going on, but... So I guess that's what it looks like. I paused it in between because it was taking long to heat it up. I'm sure nobody wanted to sit there and watch that. So, but uh, I guess we got them soldered in there. So then the uh, it's a little bit of extra. plugs into the tractor, it runs our scale, and then so we put the uh, rest of the plug in. But when you don't have a wrench, you use a pair of pliers. screw that I guess holds us all in place so that gets plugged in the tractor and then this will get rerouted back through the uh, feed wagon tongue and up into the uh, scale module. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, a little something a little different than we usually do. Uh, so hope you enjoyed. Uh, questions, comments, uh, subscribe, likes, and all that funny YouTube stuff as always. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.